We're about to have some fun with our new RV King mattress. It is a Brooklyn Bedding Aurora RV mattress. Um, we are big purple fans, but purple does not make an RV King mattress. Uh, about the closest we could get is a regular queen mattress. So this thing came in yesterday. We were a little disappointed because the box was torn up, but now that we got a really good inspection on it, it looks like it's in good shape before we open it. I have my trusty knife, which I'll have to be very careful as we, we open this up. We'll get it up on our frame here, and we'll let it expand and let the fun begin. Actually, the fun was getting it in the coach because this thing's heavy. <laughs> How heavy is it? It's 120 pounds. So compared to the flimsy piece of paper that was our RV mattress that came with our coach, we are looking forward to hopefully some great night's sleep on this. And we're hoping it takes rid of, gets rid of some of the creaks we have that are in um, this kind of flimsy made platform. So we're already looking at some ways to reinforce this and just make it a little bit better than it is from the factory. So get ready for some fun. There's the logo. So it is kind of neat how they put these mattresses in. They take a full size and they run it through a compacting machine. And that is what gets it as flat as this. And when this is all said and done, it'll be about 12 inches tall. Before I do that, I'm going to test fit it. It's got some expanding to do. So as you see right here, it's looking a bit short. So... Oh, listen to that. Snap, crackle, pop. It is opening up. So taking off that exterior has it opening up for us, so I'm going to open it up on the end and start letting it do its work. There it goes. The key too when you're opening these, make sure you don't cut downward. You want to cut away from the plastic and away from yourself. Now the toughest part of this will be getting this plastic off of here. thought about it. This is comfortable. It's going to be a pretty good mattress, we think. So we have a 120 night sleep guarantee. So if something happens we don't like it after uh, 30 days, then we'll give it a 30 day trial, which is what they ask you to do. And if we don't like it, they will pick it up and then we'll try something different. But we're hopeful that this works and it has copper in it, which is good for 
my mild arthritis and Jen's fibromyalgia. So we're very hopeful that this is going to be a great mattress for us for years to come. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned and we'll let you know if we like it as much as we like our purple mattress. Because I don't know, we really do love our purple mattress. We do. So we'll have to see if we like this one. Check back with us and we'll let you know in 30 days. Bye. Bye. Here's an update on our mattress situation. So the Brooklyn bed, uh, the mattress was comfortable and it was very cool, which I think during the winter months was going to be a, a little bit of a problem. But the biggest problem was that I kept rolling into Drew. <laughs> and the purple mattress we were used to, that mattress not letting that happen. In fact, you can stand on an egg on top of the purple mattress and it will not crack. It's just the the membrane, the, the technology that they have that... Um, the foam plus the the whatever that material is called inside will not um, it, it totally supports and cradles all of your uh, pressure points and we missed that in the purple so we called Brooklyn bedding asked them if they had something uh, comparable to the purple mattress and they didn't but they were very cool about it they told us they would refund our money and actually um, they told us to donate it to a charity, but there were no charities that were taking mattresses at that point. So we called Brooklyn Bedding back. They told us to donate it to someone we knew and that to, to just have someone sign a letter saying that we gave them the mattress and for us to state how much we had paid for the mattress and that they would refund our money. And in fact, I gave it to my brother and he signed the letter and we sent it to Brooklyn Bedding and within an hour they credited our account for how much we paid for the mattress and that was just so surprising to us. It was very cool of them to do that. So it didn't work out for the Brooklyn Bedding but we um, mattress but we did end up um, going to Purple and we found a mattress that would fit our king size and the RV width wise. So our purple mattress is a California King. We're about to turn it into an Indiana King. And to do that, we have to cut four inches off of this to make it a 72 by 74. Um, so right now it's 72 by 80, which is a California King size. So it fits perfectly in width-wise, but lengthwise it's hanging over, it's flopping off the end. It makes it hard to get into one of the bathrooms. So. We're at the point of no return. We're going to cut the, we've unzipped the cover that goes around this part. And we're about to cut the fabric that just kind of holds the mattress in. It's just an extra cover. But once we cut this cover, our warranty is voided. But the good thing is, is we've had purple mattress before. We had it for almost five years. We loved it. It was still in great shape. And the part we're cutting is not going to be affect the integrity of the mattress at all so yes we won't be able to do a warranty claim on it but we will be able to fit it into the proper spot and still get that great comfort that we expected from our purple mattress and here we go